coming down the sides, strengthening pads um, on the sides of the hulls, added strength and um, the ability to mount gaff racks or rod holders too. In the sides, we've got the molded fiberglass internal side pockets. We fully fiberglass these on, so as you'll see, you can stand on these. So extra nice and tough, nice and strong. Um, also, while we're talking about fiberglassing things, our hulls and decks are completely fiberglassed together all the way around the boat, 360 degrees. Uh, all our cast platforms are fiberglassed on the outside, especially with this one, inside and outside. Uh, consoles fully fiberglassed to the floor. Everything's fiberglassed. If it can be fiberglassed, it is. There's no screws in our boat, so nothing ever rattles. Everything's bolted, and nothing will ever come undone. All three one six fittings as well. Okay. Coming down the back, tons of room for a bait board, and you'll see tons of room again for twins, like my particular boat's got 300 on it, or you can have twin 130s, like our first demo boat. We've got recess cleats, we've got four of these, these are flip down above the cleats, nice and smooth, so that way you don't get any of lines attached or wrapped around there annoyingly. Down the back, we have got the molded recessed bait tanks. So these are all fully molded with nice big curves in them. And then again, the lids are fiberglass. These are molded, non-skidded, and they open up to your molded bait tank. So you got nice big curves so your live baits don't get caught. The other one on the other side is blue. Again, non-skid deck all the way around. So you can walk around the entire top deck on this. Fuel filler point up here in the back, twist, twist and look off, and then your second live bait tank. So this one's blue. Again, you can see here how everything's bolted together. In this boat, we've got a deck wash fitted as well down here. So the pickup's through the hull, so you've got a stainless steel pickup, a seacock to turn the valve, turn a, a ball valve or a seacock to turn the, the water flow off, and then you've got your outlet point here. So that's a flip out outlet point. So you screw the fitting in and then put it in your side pocket when you're done, which makes it nice and easy and it's flush. In the back, we've also got another chill tank. So this one again, also very large, goes down nice and deep and you've got another 40 millimeter bung in there as well. So makes drainage and easy to do. In the back, got a bilge, nice big bilge set up down here, room to fit um, two through hole transducers down there and you'll see it fitting through the hole for your deck wash pick up. Just while we're inside the back of the Benito 660, I want to give you a look at how much deck space we have. So it's 1.96 meters from there to the same side on the other side. And then you've got tons of room internally for a seat box or a leaning post, which gives you massive fishing room in the back. It is 4.8 meters from the transom wall here to the very front combing. So it is a very big boat. You can fit the five meter Benito almost inside this area of space. Alrighty, so in terms of fuel tank capacities, uh, this particular boat is fitted with a 360 litre tank. That's standard on the 660s. We can go as large as 600 litres. I've got 550 litres in my personal boat, which is awesome for doing long range trips. Uh, while we're inside the cockpit, in the back, in the fishing area, we've got 700 millimetre freeboard in the boat. So you'll notice it's nice and high on the thigh. So when you're fishing, you get right into the side of the boat. You can lock your feet under the cup, under the side pockets, and you feel nice and safe inside the boat. And you can also get, obviously, right round into the corners, 360 degrees around the boat, making a nice, safe place to find a big fish. We can also do internal padding, side, total side combing padding, sorry, if you would like all the way around the boat, and fold down rear lounge as well, like we have done on our other Benito models, it's an option. Um, speaking of options, we are able to fit T-tops or to custom T-tops to suit your needs as well. 
coming forward to the console now. On two screens or big single 16 or to one side, whichever you prefer. Our steering wheel goes on the left. We've got a shelf that runs across here. So great for storage through the day. Then you got room for binnacles and switch panels there. Inside the shelf, two fiberglass shelves, one up high and then one down low. So you, these are fully fiberglassed in. Tons of room for battery storage. In here, you'll notice we've got two pipes. This one runs forward into the anchor well for your electric motor or uh, anchor winch. And this one's your rigging tube that runs down to the back of the boat. Splash well here as well, so no water gets inside your console. Okay. Thank you very much for watching. And um, if you're interested in having a look at a 660, make sure you head to Bill's Marine. So Bill's Marine also has a number of our other models in stock. So yeah, if you're interested in Benito, it's the place to be especially if you're up in North Queensland. Thank you very much for watching and uh, look forward to seeing you out on the water.